Well, the House revives and approves a Republican-authored border crisis bill, but not without some drama on the floor of the House of Representatives. Watch this. Nancy Pelosi comes and becomes unhinged and chases Congressman Tom Marino of Pennsylvania across the House floor. Apparently, I hit the right nerve. New York is recognized. Gentlewoman from New York is recognized. Ah, it's chilling. Joining us now, Republican Congressman Tom Marino. Congressman, thanks a lot for coming on. It's my pleasure. Glad to see you in one piece. What was your response? How afraid were you when you saw the former speaker coming after you? Uh, I, I was, listen, I was a prosecutor for 18 years. <laughs> I was a DA and a United States attorney. I've been threatened by drug dealers, organized crime, and murderers. This was a walk in the park. So, what did she say to you? She, I really didn't hear until she came right up to my face. Someone hollered as I was speaking, uh, which uh, there was a tremendous breach of decorum here. If, yeah. she, if she wanted me to stop, she could have asked if I could, uh, if, if she could talk for a moment. Uh, or if she didn't like my words, she could have brought them down, but there was nothing to bring down. She just, uh, she just lost it. But uh, she came over and started calling me a liar, a liar. And that's when I said, uh, no, I do my homework. I did my research. These are the facts. You might want to try that once in a while. So what were you nice. alleging that she disputed? I was alleging that, uh, don't forget, when uh, the Republicans had control, uh, uh, excuse me, the Democrats had control of the, the House, uh, the White House, and the Senate uh, from uh, 9, uh, 209 to 210. And my statement was, during that time, there was no significant uh, uh, immigration work done. You know, there, there were pieces of it, but it had nothing to do with dealing with uh, Border security, yes. and it was actually just a, uh, a precursor to open amnesty. And uh, I criticized. Uh, you're making a political issue out of it now. Why didn't you do something about it when you had control of the House, the White House, and the Senate? That's an absolutely fair question. Now, you, absolutely, the facts are there. You said that um, Nancy Pelosi called you insignificant. She called me insignificant uh, when I continued to talk. She was talking in one ear as I was standing there. And when I was continuing my presentation, uh, I was finishing up and uh, said apparently I, I, I struck a nerve here, but my facts can be substantiated. And then I started walking back up the aisle and somebody hollered, watch out behind you. Uh, and There's a rogue around. speaker behind you? Yeah. <laughs> she came and she was wagging her finger at me and I said, would you like to take this off the floor? Let's go back in the room. and. Uh, she just was uh, losing it. And you know something, the, the part that bothered me uh, because, you know, there's, the, there's some people in Congress that act like royalty. Yes. And it's an important job for me. But I came from a, a low middle class family, still remember my roots. My dad was a firefighter and a janitor. And for someone to wag their finger in my face and tell me I'm insignificant, twice you're insignificant. Uh, and I said, and, and uh, you know, th this is no way to, to behave. The only two people that get away with wagging their finger in my face are my wife and my mother. Yes. And I'm not going to take this from anyone. I would not do this to anyone. My father always told me to be a gentleman, and I was a perfect gentleman. And, but I'm not going to stand there because telling me I was insignificant, she was telling my constituents and the rest of America, you're insignificant. And you look up in what in s this means in Webster's, it means not important, unimportant, little, not worthy. And that's the attitude there. And I'm a street fighter. I'm not going to take it from anybody. Especially someone who hasn't flown commercial in many years, who's one of the richest members of Congress. Yeah. And uh, I drove myself here today from Williamsport, Pennsylvania, four and a half hours with my family in my truck, and we will drive back. I don't have an entourage. I don't bring staff members with me. And I ran several years ago on downsize government, keep taxes low, cut the cost, yeah. and less federal government in my life, the better. And I'm a term limit guy. And yesterday was an exact reason why we need term limits. Congressman Tom Marino, thanks for joining us this morning. I'm glad you drove. You're very nice welcome. Nice to see you. My pleasure.